um, to do a little remembrance and uh, show of sympathy for the uh, members of the Alexandrov Ensemble that uh, died in the plane crash in 2016 on Christmas Day. And it's fitting we're here today because it's a little Christmas. Um, we're going to introduce the uh, New York City Police Department Color Guard and the Bayonne Fire Department Honor Guard. All right, the Schiller Institute will now sing the Russian National Anthem and the American National Anthem. to now call up Father John Fetzing to do the blessing. O God of spirits and all flesh, who has conquered Satan and vanquished death, have granted life to your world. Do Lord give rest to the souls of your faithfully departed servants, the members of the Alexandra Choir, who lost their lives on Christmas several years ago, and give them rest in a peaceful, serene, luxuriant place from which all pain, sorrow, and sighing are absent. As a good and gracious God who loves mankind, do you forgive all transgressions committed by them in word, deed, or thought, voluntarily with the human frailty? For there is no man living who does not sin, you alone are without sin. Your truth is truth and eternity, your word alone reality. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servants, O Christ our God. We render your glory together, the eternal Father, the only gracious and life-creating Spirit, always, now, and ever, and forever. 
Amen. In blessed repose, grant eternal rest, O Lord, to the souls of your departed servants. Make eternal their memories. Satorian vichnu yopam yad, vichna yopam yad, vichna yopam yad. Blazen ipokoi vichna yayiv pam yad. Uh, please welcome Mr. Peter Elitrev, uh, the representative from the uh, Russian Federation. Friends, we gather today one year after tragic events of 25th December 2016, when we lost Alexander Ensemble team, journalist, humanitarian worker and philanthropist uh, Elizaveta Glinka. We are still mourning the losses, terrible and, and tremendous, and we are grateful for the American people who show solidarity during those trying times. We are thankful to Schiller Institute, to New York Police Department, for Fire Department of Bayonne for organizing this event. Time passes by, but the loss is still felt, but the best way to, to pay tribute to those courageous men and women who perished at that night is to remember them and to continue their cause. In Russia, Alexander Ensemble was reconstituted just two months after the tragedy. Now, the new performers, new singers, new, new dancers were found, and they were found not only because of their merits, because of their voices, or because of their craftsmanship, but because of their moral qualities, because of their solidarity. So, Ensemble is there, it is performing, it has performed in more than a dozen countries. The Charity Foundation, just a system that was founded by Elizaveta Glinka, is continuing its noble cause, helping people in need, sometimes in very difficult situations. It was decided that a public award named after Elizaveta Glinka will be established, and the first award will be made on 20th of February her birthday. So let's remember those people who were trying to show solidarity, to, sh to show sympathy with people all over the world, especially with people in Syria. And uh, this year, Syria saw some progress, some positive uh, changes. Uh, so-called Islamic State was uh, defeated. The Syrian parties started talking each other. Talks in Astana, talks in Geneva continued. Now we, uh, we are going to have Congress of National Dialogue in Sochi trying to, to bring end to, to the civil war in Syria. And again, the best tribute to, to those people who perished will be remembered. So may their souls rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Monsieur here. Uh, now I'd like to uh, ask uh, Ambassador Munzer here from the Syrian mission. Good morning. Thank you, everybody. No problem. Well, uh, let me say that the uh, disaster of losing the uh, musical band of Alexandrov was uh, not only a national, big national loss to the uh, uh, Russian people and to the Russian government. It was, and it is, a big national loss to the Syrian people and to the Syrian government. We all know that uh, this musical band was established 
about one century ago. All this time, this, uh, the Alexandrov band uh, was a partner of all the achievements of the Russian people along all its uh, uh, struggle uh, during this uh, time. Uh, we feel regret, of course, and we are partners uh, with, with the Russian people because this band gave their lives while they were on their way to celebrate with the Syrian people the victory uh, against uh, uh, terrorism. Uh, I will conclude to say uh, the Syrian people will never forget uh, this, uh, uh, the Alexandrov uh, band. We will never forget their sacrifice. They will uh, remain forever living in our souls and in our conscience. And uh, may, uh, may their souls rest in peace. Thank you. On behalf of the Bayonne Fire Department and City of Bayonne, we want to thank everyone and welcome everyone today uh, for participating in the ceremony. A year ago today, we gave our condolences to the families of the Alexandrov Ensemble and to the people of Russia. Everyone here proves, I believe, that this small remembrance shows our humanity towards one another. And God knows we could use more of that. Once again, it is fitting we are here at the 9-11 Teardrop Memorial since the creator of this monument was the Russian sculptor Zorab Terseratelli. In the darkness after 9-11, this monument helped to bring peace and hope to many people who visited. We now wish to pay that forward. This small token of our sympathy, hopefully, will bring back a touch of hope and light to the Russian people. On a personal level, I'm honored to be here once again as I worked at Ground Zero, and this monument has personal meaning to me. May the peace and hope that I feel when I am here be conveyed back to the people of Russia and the families that have suffered this terrible loss. Music has meaning, and this quote from Billy Joel conveys that better than anything I can say. Quote, I think music in itself is healing. It's an explosive expression of humanity. It's something we are all touched by, no matter what culture we're from. Everyone loves music, end quote. It is at times like this that we are neither Russians, Syrians, or Americans, but just human beings who feel loss and genuinely wish peace and happiness towards one another. With a little help from my friend Natalia, who has tutored me, I'm going to try and convey those thoughts in Russian. So please be, be, bear with me. Nasha Libov i Malitvi Zvami, Hraini Vash Gashpot. Thank you all for coming. Now Diane Sayer will have to say something. She's the director of the Schiller Institute. Thank you very much. I would also like to thank the New York Police Department, the Bayonne Fire Department, and all of those who are joined together in the fight to save human beings, as Captain Hyber just said, and to protect people against terrorism and to people who responded and gave their lives on September 11th. I'm going to read a statement from Colonel Richard Black, State Senator of Virginia's 13th District. Today the civilized world stops to give thanks to Almighty God for the Alexandrov Ensemble, its musicians, its dancers, and the journalists, and the beloved charity worker Lizetta Glinka who perished on a flight to Syria on December 25th, 2016. At a time when many nations engaged in a sinister conspiracy to unleash hideous terror on the peaceful Syrian people, Russia boldly stepped forth and its armed forces fought heroically alongside the Syrian forces. Together they conquered ISIS and restored peace and safety to a beleaguered people. Just as the Russian armed forces brought security and freedom to millions of Syrians, 
the Alexandrov Ensemble came to bring the precious gifts of civilization, morality, and decency to that heroic land. The Alexandrov Ensemble symbolized Russia's commitment to preserving civilization from powerful forces of evil. Beautiful strains of classical music still haunt the ruins of Palmyra, recalling Russia's and Syria's recapture of the priceless ruins from terrorists sent by foreign powers to ruin, loot, and desecrate the archaeological legacy of all mankind. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to Russia and to President Vladimir Putin for rescuing Syria from the terrorists sent by foreign powers to rape, behead, and crucify and degrade every decent human being in Syria. I thank you for sending your finest artists, the Alexandrov Ensemble, as a clear demonstration that Russia does not wish to bring war, but rather to bring peace, beauty, and God's blessings upon mankind. My prayers are with Russia, the Alexandrov Ensemble, and all who fight to defend freedom in Syria. May God bless you all, Senator Richard Black. Thank you, Diane. Uh, we're going to move the wreath now over near the monument. Uh, we'd ask everyone to grab a flower, place it at the wreath. Once again, thank you all for coming. Uh, and for people now as we leave, please feel free to stop by the firehouse. I have some coffee and stuff and everyone can warm up. So thank you once again and God bless.